Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of SK Diecast Talks. This is episode 2 of a 6 episode series that I am doing on the uh, Porsche Le Mans racing cars. Like the previous episode, this one is also a Martini Livery car and some of you might know that Martini Liveries are my favorite when it comes to racing cars like these. So this here is a 1978 Porsche 935 and it was built on the uh, Porsche 911 and uh, this was considered to be the most powerful Porsche 911 ever. Now this had a flat 6 bi-turbo engine and uh, with a displacement of about 3200 cc. Now this car uh, initially won uh, at the 6 hours of Silverstone and then uh, it placed 8th in Le Mans and this car was not a Le Mans winner per se. And uh, the achievement that this car did was it hit an incredible speed of 366 kilometers per hour at the Mulsanne Strait in uh, Le Mans circuit. This car was also popularly known as uh, Moby Dick. Primary reason for that is because of the long uh, flowing tail that you can see over here and also its white body which made it resemble the famous white whale Moby Dick. So this car that we see here is uh, a 1 is to 18 uh, scale model built by Solido and let's take a quick look at this car and see how good or bad the details are. Let's dive into an in-depth review of this beautiful car. So uh, the first thing that I notice when I hold this uh, car in my hands is that it's not very heavy. It's about uh, a 1 kg, about 1200 grams maximum, uh, probably that's the weight of this car. But that said, I think the build quality is quite good. So uh, Solid always does a good job on the build quality. I don't see any flimsy or loose parts uh, anywhere uh, or any shaky parts anywhere uh, with an exception of the rear spoiler that uh, tends to uh, wobble a little bit. But I think otherwise uh, the build quality is quite good. So let's take a look at uh, the car uh, up close. So let's take a look at the left side first. So uh, the Tampos are quite well made uh, as usual, so uh, no smears, no smudges everywhere. It's very neat, so uh, that's that's a plus point of this particular model. The uh, tampo colors are also quite good, so there seems to be uh, no inaccuracies. I just looked at uh, the uh, original car on the internet and uh, saw that the uh, decal work and the tampo work is absolutely spot on, including this. Uh, light gray circle that you can see behind 43 so the original car was exactly like this so uh, I think in terms of decals and tampos it looks pretty accurate the wheels are quite nice so this has got uh, the racing slicks basically so uh, and it's got this red hubcap uh, the tires are Dunlop tires uh, which was quite popular in the 1970s so uh, I think the wheels are also quite good the uh, speciality of this car was that you can see that uh, this overall body kit also came up to the door in most of the Le Mans cars you can see that it ends over here in the fender but this one uh, actually extended up to the quarter glass of the door so that was a speciality of this uh, particular car and uh, the doors are also quite solid they open very well um, and uh, I think the build quality of the doors are also quite good the uh, glass parts are also quite transparent, uh, not very bad actually. It looks uh, quite okay. And uh, the Martini tampos, as I said, everything looks good. And uh, attention to detail like the small rivets uh, on the uh, uh, fixation of this particular glass, I think this looks uh, quite authentic. So uh, the side of the car looks pretty good and I think the other side also is uh, pretty much similar. So it looks uh, quite well made. Let's take a look at the front of the car. So the front of the car, as you can see, uh, is uh, neatly made. I like this uh, grille especially. The grille has come out quite well. It's uh, not exactly a mesh, but as usual, it's a plastic with the mesh pattern embedded on it. So that's about it. The headlights also look quite good. Uh, the plastic inserts inside uh, looks quite good with the indicator and a parking light also uh, that's visible right inside over there and there's also a decal which is there inside which says uh, Saibi so uh, the original car also had the decal so the attention to detail uh, is quite good and you can see the uh, 
the fuel caps also over here it looks uh, looks quite good the vents are also well made uh, they have a kind of a black plastic insert inside which makes it look uh, quite authentic and uh, they've actually painted uh, one part of these vents black so that it gives a sense of depth but it's actually not uh, uh, an actual vent it's just some indents made on the car and uh, i think they have uh, painted it black to give that appearance of depth so which which looks quite good actually it's not all that bad and uh, moving on to the rear of the car so you can see the original 911 body that's there uh, inside over here so you can see the amount of extension that this tail had over uh, the 911 body so uh, I think that was one of the specialities of these cars. So you can see the uh, the rear spoiler also is quite well made. And uh, so are these grills um, that are made well. Uh, this is the Porsche uh, typical grill and you can see the uh, tail also over here which has the typical Porsche shape. The rear windshield is uh, kind of yellowish in color. So I think this is intentional. This is how the original car looked like. So it had a yellowish uh, windshield on the back. So which looks uh, quite good and the front windshield is also quite clear. Uh, it looks nice. The wiper uh, is very well positioned and all the gadgets that's there uh, is also very well made. So let's take a quick look at the interior of the car and uh, let's see how that is made. So the first and foremost thing that's uh, very clearly visible is the roll cage. Uh, looks good with a couple of fire extinguishers there, uh, which I'm not sure if you can see. Um, over there the red the red fire extinguishers that you see over there let me go to the other side uh, to look at the driver's seat so here you go um, it looks uh, it looks quite neat uh, very spartan the way uh, the car was actually intended to be i love the way the pedals are made there's there's quite a lot of details on the pedals uh, uh, i think it looks uh, pretty nice and uh, so does the gear lever and the uh, e-brake that's there uh, in the center panel but as usual one disappointment uh, always uh, in these solido models is the seat belts this is once again the painted seat belt that you can actually see there so that's a that's a huge disappointment all the time so i don't know why a proper uh, seat belt uh, or a plastic seat belt can be uh, inserted there i don't uh, know why they didn't do it Probably because of the pricing point uh, of this particular uh, set of cars that Solido makes. These are lesser than uh, 6,500 INR, so uh, maybe we can't expect too many things in this. But otherwise, uh, I think the model is uh, pretty well made. And uh, this is definitely a good model to have, especially if you're a fan of uh, the Martini library and if you're a fan of uh, the Porsche Le Mans cars. So this one is definitely a good one to have. I would rate this car approximately uh, a four and a half out of five in terms of build quality, paint job and so on. So it looks quite good. The only thing that I did not like was the uh, seat belt that's just painted there on top of the seat. That alone is a disappointment. Otherwise, this car is really well made and uh, definitely worth the money that we pay for this. So that's it for this episode. I'm going to see you in the next uh, episode, which is going to be episode three of the uh, Porsche Le Mans cars. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.